We say good morning to you. Welcome. We're live at Champion Chevrolet in the Bristol Motor Mile in Johnson City inside the studio, inside the showroom here at Champion Chevrolet. Hope you and yours had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, we certainly did. You get a chance to be around family and friends and people that you love. And so it was a great, uh, great day. And hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. It was a very, very fun day. And so we move on now into Black Friday and the official start of the Christmas shopping season. It's kind of been going on, but now it's the official official with Black Friday and so on and so forth. So we've got some great specials going on here at Champion Chevrolet. As we have said all month long, they're still offering you the chance to get the same discount as if you were a General Motors employee. So that's the uh, cool thing about that. And it's going on through the end of the month, which, of course, you've got another couple of days or all next week to make that happen. So the lot is busy today. A lot of foot traffic out here for this Black Friday. Folks looking at vehicles and Silverados and Tahoes and, oh, gosh, the Traverses. And so uh, all the uh, salesmen and sales ladies are hopping right now. they got folks out there they're attending to. So busy day here on the parking lot. <clears throat> excuse me, of Champion Chevrolet on the Bristol Motor Mile, Johnson City. If you can't get by today, certainly check out on the web, championjc.com is what you want to look at. And it's uh, <clears throat> that's what it's all about. I was going to get, to get the sale paper and tell you more about it because it will do me better than, yeah, there it is. GM employee pricing on selected 2017 Silverados. Traverses, Expresses, Tahoes, and Suburbans through the end of the month. And again, you have a chance to get some very rare savings. I know Andy said it's only the third or fourth time in 11 years that they've done it. So not every day does General Motors offer you the same discount as one of the employees here at Champion or a General Motors employee period to save like you can through the end of the month. A couple of other ways to do it, too. You can get 20% off the sticker off select 2017 Cruises, Malibus, Corvettes, Sonics, and Palas, or, if that doesn't tickle your fancy, 0% for up to 72 months, which is basically six years in lieu of 20%. So there's really three ways to come in here and save the GM employee pricing, 20% off or 0% for up to 72 months, so really three ways to save by the end of the month here at Champion Chevrolet on the Bristol Motor Mile, Johnson City. We're inside the Cletus Green and Chris Bird manufactured studio inside the showroom here at Champion Chevrolet. And uh, Cletus is going to join us a little bit later on the show here on this Friday, November the 24th, countdown to Christmas right at 30 days from today. And this is show number 640. They said it wouldn't work, and here we are going... Show number 640 here on this 24th day of the month. Here is the verse of the day to get us started. We always start our show and dedicate the show to the man who hung on the cross. And out of the book of John, John 8, 12 simply says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. There you go. And so that's the verse of the day to get it all started here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. we got all kinds of sports to talk about. we got college football. It's going to be our, our first segment coming up here after the break. We got college basketball, the National Hockey League. We'll give you the three scores in the NFL yesterday. Cowboys laid an egg. Cowboys, uh, their playoff chances are going up in smoke pretty quick. Jason Witten, leading receiver yesterday for the Cowboys, seven catches, 44 yards, but no touchdowns. They managed only six points uh, in the loss yesterday. So the Cowboys stubbed their toe. We'll give you the other two teams and keep on trucking. That's all you get from me from the National Football League. High school football, the what? Semifinals. We're down to the final four in each class. We'll tell you about that. Also, the Virginia high school football. Who's playing? Who's still alive in Southwest Virginia? We've got basketball. Boy, do we have basketball tonight. Can't wait. We're going to bring it to you live from Crockett High School in Jonesboro. The semifinals, the 28th annual Hardy's Classic. Game one, the Volunteer Falcons taking on the Jefferson County Patriots. And game two, the Sullivan South Rebels taking on the Morristown East Trojans. So uh, the two faves are... I think fan favorites that wanted them to be in the semifinals. Boone and Crockett both lost or playing each other, ironically enough, at 5.30 today. But again, it'll be a volunteer Jeff County South Morristown East semifinals for this year, the 28th annual Hardy's Classic. And Clark Powers and yours truly going to bring it to you tonight beginning at 6, right around 6.50 on our tip-off at 7 o'clock in game one of two tonight from the Hardy's Classic in Jonesboro. So we say good morning to you. We're live here at Champion Chevrolet. We'll take our first break, come back. We've got a coach fired. We've got an update on Chip Kelly. We'll give you the games today. A lot of games being played today. We'll talk about last night's Egg Bowl. 
between Mississippi State and Ole Miss. All that's going on again, of course, right now in the top 25. we got some dandies. Also, the picking panel. Before we go to the break, you have until midnight tonight to get a part of the picking panel. You win 25 bucks cash. And here's the there you go. You go to that right there. TomTaylorSports.com backslash football. Here are the games you can be you will be picking this week. All we need is a first name, last name, and your email address. That's all we need. Uh, of course, Vanderbilt of Tennessee, the Iron Bowl, Alabama, Auburn, Florida State, Florida. It is, of course, rivalry weekend. Ohio State, Michigan, Clemson, South Carolina, Georgia, Georgia Tech, Louisville at Kentucky, Virginia Tech at Virginia. Those those guys play today, as a matter of fact. So. Uh, I guess I need to make a correction. If you're going to do the picking pound, you got to do it like right now because they'll play here in a little while, Virginia Tech and Virginia. Texas A&M and LSU and Washington State of Washington. Those are the ten games you can pick this week for the picking panel. And the one with the most correct picks, Larry Perry did it last week from Elizabeth. And actually, that was two weeks ago, last week's winner. haven't even told her yet. Renee McNeil won 25 bucks, So she was our... Picker repeat winner from earlier in the season. She went seven out of ten, won herself twenty-five bucks cold cash again from the Tom Taylor Sports Show. So you have until just a few more minutes right now to get that done. And uh, because the Virginia Tech Virginia game plays later on this afternoon, quick break. We'll be right back. We'll take a look at our first segment at college football next year on show number six hundred and forty from Champion Chevrolet on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. It's model your clothes out with Jim Employee pricing and 20% off on 17 models of Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City. It's a great time to take advantage of closeout savings on our selection of over 300 Chevys to choose from. 17 1500 work truck 23995, 17 track 17548, 17 cruise 16488, 17 spark 10950, 17 Malibu 18985. Closeout savings, Saturday parts and service hours, and shopping online 24 7 will leave you asking, how do they do that? Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. Do you like pulled pork? At Phil's, the pulled pork is cooked low and slow. We cook it all night, but we serve it fast. Our pulled pork is hickory smoked, tender and juicy. We serve the pork either as a sandwich on a bun or platter style with garlic toast. And don't forget to try our pork wings. They taste like a cross between ham and our sweet ribs. It comes as a meal, as an add-on, or part of our meat sampler platters. Pulled pork and pork wings. Just two great reasons to stop by Phil's Dream Pit. Eastern Star Exit off I-26, 349-6437. Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. Back on the Tom Taylor Sports Show live at Champion Chevrolet Show number 640 here on this Friday. Again, November the 24th, Monday. We've got a full schedule next week. Monday, we're going to be at Freddy's here in North Johnson City. Tuesday, we'll be at Bracken Paving at the airport there to right off the uh, Blumble exit with our buddy Spencer and Tommy Wyman and April and all the kids at Bracken Paving. Wednesday, we'll be at Movement Mortgage. Our buddy Jeremy Livis is going to be there getting ready for the big open house there in Boone's Creek right across from the Cracker Barrel. Thursday of next week, right back here at Champion Chevrolet. And then next Friday, can you believe next Friday is December the 1st? We'll be at Virginia Avenue Food City 
on a Food City Friday. So full show next week and our full week of shows, I should say. And we're very excited about that as this number 640 here. As we are live at Champion Chevrolet. GM employee pricing all month long. Got six days to take advantage of that for the month ends. And so take advantage of GM employee pricing on select 2017 Silverados, Traverses, Expresses, Tahoes, and Suburbans. You get the same discount as the General Motor employees do or the Champion employees do when they buy a vehicle. So uh, it's a very rare opportunity. So if you're in the market to get a vehicle, and apparently folks are because the lot's busy here this morning, you want to take advantage of it, that'd be a thing to do. Again, GM employee pricing on selected 2017 Silverados, Traverses, Expresses, Tahoes, and Suburbans. I want to say hello to Michelle Hedrick up in Northern Virginia. We'll be talking to her hubby coming up in a little while. Also, hello to Renee McNeil and Elizabeth and Andy Dietrich. Andy's not with us today, but he's watching the show. He and Scott Byerly, I want to say hello to you guys. And also, Gary Stevens watching, as is Marty Osborne. And also, hello to Chris Payne. Chris working for the Big E, and he's a regular watcher, and we certainly appreciate that very much. So those are some of the folks. If you're watching out there, send us a shout-out on Facebook. We'll turn around and holler right back at you at the Tom Taylor Sports Show Facebook page. We would appreciate that. All right, our first story coming out of the college football segment. Another coach got the ax last night, or yesterday. I'm sorry, on Wednesday. I keep thinking this is Thursday because we're normally here on Thursday. On Wednesday, Kent State announcing that Coach Paul Haynes would not be back for 2018. His contract's up following this season. The Golden Flashes, 2-10 and 10 this year. Haynes, 14-45 and 45 in five seasons at Kent State. He's moved on. Haynes unable to coach the team for the first two weeks of the season as he recovered from surgery for prostate cancer. He was a former Golden Flashes defensive back who was hired to replace Daryl Hazel in December of 2012. Paul Haynes gone as the coach at Kent State, so uh, it'll be one of many. The coaching carousel has begun here in the uh, latter stages of the college football season in 2017. Last night, five Mississippi State turnovers translate into a humbling 31-28 defeat as visiting Ole Miss beat the double-digit odds. The outcome was likely the largest upset in the rivalry in decades. It's the Egg Bowls, they call it, the bragging rights for Mississippi. So Ole Miss wins at 31-28. The final margin was the closest Mississippi State got after the game's opening minute. This allowed Coach Dan Mullen a little what-if leeway about the 60-minute football game. He said, we wish we'd had 61 or 62 minutes tonight, just had 60. And so Ole Miss with a big win over Mississippi State, 31-28. 14th-ranked Bulldogs in the regular season, 8-4, and 4-4 four. and four in the Southeastern Conference. And they await their bowl assignments as they got – as you know, you've got to have six to be bowl eligible. they got eight, so they're going somewhere. They will not be one of the better bowls, having also fumbled away a chance to be at the Citrus Bowl in Florida. The Rebels, by the way, are done at 6-6, six and six, even though they're bowl eligible by the self-imposed penalty from last year's team. So uh, by, they sure made sure State would not be enjoying an eighth straight postseason trip nearly so much. All the Bulldogs had to offer was, along their coach's theme, wish we had another couple of minutes to make a difference in the football game, but they did not, as Ole Miss defeats Mississippi State, again, 31-28. Chip Kelly, the coaching carousel, continues. An announcement on his hiring could come as soon as Sunday. ESPN reporting that Florida and UCLA are the front runners for Kelly's services. Also, Arizona State could be in the mix if it opens up. Of course, he's already told Tennessee, no. Nah. Thanks, but no thanks. And see, uh, Tim Cobanaver Tim Coban- and I talked about this last week. You know, it's going to reach the point Tennessee's not going to be the plum job that everybody thinks it is. So Chip Kelly said, no, nope. he's already told him no. And so there's a certain amount of urgency on both sides. Kelly and his future team to get a deal done quickly. We've been talking about this for three weeks, and it's a hurry up and wait for everybody, including Tennessee, because that first recruiting deadline now is uh, mid-December. And so some of the recruits have decommitted for Tennessee. They want to try and get them back. So it is a big, big time right now, not just for Tennessee, but for all the schools looking for coaches. That would be Florida, UCLA, and Tennessee right now, and now Kent State. Florida and Kelly are believed to be going back and forth on coaches. The Gators want Kelly to keep from the current staff. Defensive coordinator and interim coach Randy Shannon has been mentioned as one of the staffers being discussed. So the school says, we want you to keep keep this guy, this guy, and this guy. And Kelly's going, no, I'm going to bring in my guys. I'm going to do what I need to do to make my football team successful with my people. We'll see who wins that one. 
the school who's writing the check or the coach that says, you need me, it's like, who needs who the worst? So if, if I was in that situation, I would say that probably the schools will take preference or precedence because they got the paycheck. They got the, they got the cookie jar, the honey in the cookie jar. Who's playing today? Here we go, Friday games in NCAA football. Starting at 11.30, Western Michigan, Toledo. 12 o'clock, Baylor and 12th ranked TCU. Uh, let's see if that one's going to be played at, at TCU. Also a noon game, Navy at 6-4 and four, at Houston, 6-4. and four. Second ranked, Miami at 10-0, trying to run the table in the perfect season. And they are playing, uh, let's see, is that at Pittsburgh? Let's double check here. Yep, it is. It's in Pittsburgh. That could be a trap game for Mark Richt and the Hurricanes. Northern Illinois takes on Central Michigan. Northern Illinois at 8-3. and three. Central Michigan at 7-4. and four. Other games today at 1 o'clock, the Ohio Bobcats will be at Buffalo. Ohio 8-3, Buffalo 5-6. Missouri out of the Southeastern Conference, 2.30 kickoff this afternoon. Missouri 6-5 at Arkansas, 4-7. Brett Bolima, a lot of folks say he's going to be out of there. 3.30 kickoff, New Mexico State. I'm sorry, New Mexico at San Diego State. New Mexico at 3-8, and eight, San Diego State at 9-2. and 3.30 kickoff this afternoon. This could be a good one. South Florida 9-1 and one at Central Florida. Scott Frost trying to pad his resume for Central Florida by going 11-0, or 15th in the country. South Florida 9-1. and one. The Bulls will be in Orlando to battle Central Florida at 3.30 this afternoon. 9-1 and one South Florida, 10-0 and 0 Central Florida. 4 o'clock game, Iowa with the Hawkeyes at 6-5 and five will be at Nebraska 4-7. and seven. Mm, Conventional thinking says Mike Riley's gone at Nebraska, maybe replaced by Scott Frost. Other games, Texas State at Troy today. Western Kentucky, the Hilltoppers at 6-5 and five at Florida Atlantic. I'm sorry, Florida International University at 6-4. and four. How about the Bragging Rights of Virginia? 8 o'clock kickoff tonight. The Hokies, 25th in the country at 8-3. and three. Again, in Charlottesville, the Battle of the Cavaliers of Virginia, 6-5 and five for those two teams playing for the Commonwealth Cup. The Bragging Rights of Virginia tonight. Also at 8 o'clock, Texas Tech at 5 and 6. At Texas, 6 and 5. The Red Raiders and the Longhorns in Austin. 10.30 tonight, California 5 and 6. At UCLA, 5 and 6. One of those teams will be bowl eligible when it's all said and done. And so that's what's going on again tonight in college football. Here's your top 25 for tomorrow. 7th ranked, these are the 12 o'clock games. It'll be 7th ranked Georgia at Georgia Tech tomorrow. You have... Georgia Tech, 5-5, five and five, Georgia 10-1. and one. Other noon games, 8th-ranked Ohio State, 9-2 and two at Michigan, who is 8-3. Kansas, 1-10 at Oklahoma State, 13th-ranked Cowboys, they're 8-3. You have East Carolina will be at number 17, Memphis. East Carolina, 3-8, and eight, Memphis at 9-1. I read that wrong earlier. Oklahoma State is 18th in the country, not 13th. And so Kansas at number 18, Oklahoma State. Eastern Carolina, the Pirates at 3-8. and eight. They're going to be on a 12 o'clock kickoff in Memphis. Memphis, baby. It's Riley Ferguson and 17th-ranked Memphis, who's 9-1 and one on the season. 3-30 kickoff tomorrow. Got a bunch of them going down through it. 3-30 kickoff tomorrow. The Iron Bowl, top-ranked Alabama, 11-0. At Auburn, who's 9-2 and two, and number 6 in the country. Also at 3-30 tomorrow, 5th-ranked Wisconsin, 11-0. We'll be in Minnesota to battle the Golden Gophers. Minnesota at 5 and 6. 12th ranked Penn State at 9 and 2. We'll be at Maryland tomorrow, 4 and 7. The Bragging Rights of the Tar Heel State. North Carolina, 3 and 8. At North Carolina State, 7 and 4 at 3.30 tomorrow afternoon. 25th ranked BCU. Boise State will be at Fresno State, 9 and 2. Boise State. Fresno State at 8 and 3. That's at 3.30 tomorrow. And then at 3.45, West Virginia, the Mountaineers. Without. Will Greer, their outstanding quarterback, seven and four. The Mountaineers will be on the road at number three, Oklahoma, ten and one. A 3:45 kickoff tomorrow. Four o'clock games. You have two of those tomorrow. Twenty-first ranked Michigan State at eight and three at Rutgers, four and seven. Twenty-third ranked Northwestern tomorrow at eight and three at Illinois, two and nine. Those are both four o'clock kickoffs at seven thirty tomorrow night. Night games. Number four Clemson at ten and one at South Carolina, eight and three. Also tomorrow night at 7.30, Texas A&M, the Aggies at 7-4 at LSU. 19th-ranked Tigers, 8-3 on the season. Two more, you got 9th-ranked Notre Dame tomorrow night at 9-2. 8 o'clock kickoff on ABC. Notre Dame, the Fighting Irish, will be in Stanford to battle the Cardinal. They are 8-3 and 20th-ranked in the country. Notre Dame's 9th in the country. 
and then the bragging rights of Washington State. It'll be Washington State, the Cougars at nine and two, at 18th rank, or I'm sorry, 15th rank Washington, who's nine and two on the season. And that's a look of what's going on. Top 25 college football, SEC again. It's Auburn, Alabama. You have Missouri, Arkansas. You have Florida, Florida State, Georgia Tech, and Georgia, Louisville, and Kentucky. Texas A&M and LSU. Also, you have, of course, Egg Bowl last night. Ole Miss won that one. And then you also have, coming up uh, tomorrow afternoon, will be Tennessee at Vanderbilt. So that's a look at what's going on again in the uh, college football ranks here again on this Friday. We're typically at a Food City, back at Food City on Virginia Avenue coming up uh, starting next week, which will be a lot of fun. Trying to see when uh, Tennessee does play. Four o'clock. Four o'clock kickoff tomorrow. Tennessee hosting the Vanderbilt Commodores. Quick break. We'll be right back. So our guest, by the way, coming up today. We'll check in with Carmichael a little bit later on the show. Also, we're going to be joined by Mike Hedrick, the NASCAR fans reporter. He'll join us talking NASCAR. And also, we've got a guest, our buddy Dave Martin from WLW Radio in Cincinnati. All that straight ahead here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Quick break. We'll be right back right after you hear this. Again on this Friday, live at Champion Chevrolet on the Bristol Motor Mile, Johnson City, on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the eight areas of your vehicle that takes constant continuing education is the air conditioner on your vehicle. Well, you would think that AC would be a simple one, but it's getting to be uh, a lot bigger than just AC. It's it's the management of the system, not just AC, but heat and everything. It's a lot more computer controlled than it used to be. It used to be just a little button on the dash that you pushed. Now there's all kinds of electronics involved in that. Braking systems it used to be fairly simple. Now some of the newer vehicles, you have to have a computer to actually operate the braking system to make sure that it's okay after you've worked on it. Computer control in the, of the engine is becoming very important. There's a lot to that. Each one of these areas, are, the, the technology has just tripled and quadrupled in the last few years. It's hard to keep up. You really need to stay in the books and know what's going on with them. American Import and Auto Repair, Johnson City, open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here are the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers' comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400, your one-and-done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. Now available, Chick-fil-A, the crossings of North Johnson City, the Hash Brown Scramble, the first breakfast bowl with Chick-fil-A. The Hash Brown Scramble, a hearty breakfast option made with Chick-fil-A signature tot-style hash browns. Scrambled eggs, a Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese blend, and a choice of sliced Chick-fil-A nuggets or sausage. Served with the jalapeno salsa, the scramble can be enjoyed in a bowl or as a burrito. The hash brown scramble bowl, 30 grams of protein when made with nuggets. The bowl and burrito start at 349. Served until 1030 every morning, Monday through Saturday. The hash brown scramble or burrito, again at Chick-fil-A, the crossings in North Johnson City.
Back on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Thanks for being with us live here at Champion Chevrolet inside the studio, inside the showroom they made for us here at Champion Chevrolet. Got some great pre-owned vehicles going on. We told you about the GM savings, the GM discount for the month of November. Here are some of the pre-owns. I would assume they're still out here, although they've had a lot of traffic. Of course, closed yesterday, but they had a lot of traffic Tuesday and Wednesday and a lot of traffic. I got some folks on the lot working today, working some uh, working some deals, as they say. Again, you can check out anything they've got on the web at championjc.com. But uh, Ford Escape, 2014 Ford Escape, Honda CRV, Chevrolet Cruises, Hyundai Tucson's, a Mazda Miata, 2010. They had Chevrolet Malibu's, a Chevrolet Camaro, uh, 2015 Chevrolet Camaro. Got a 2011 Chevrolet Traverse LT cloth, uh, cloth interior, of course. They've got the uh, a 2010 Camaro, uh, 2015 Chevrolet Trax or some of the uh, pre-owned vehicles. Let's see what else they got. They got a Chevrolet Cruze Premier 2016. Also an Equinox, rather, LS all-wheel drive 2016 Chevrolet Equinox. These are some of the pre-owned. They got a Cadillac SRX Premium 2013. So some really, really, really good, really, really, really good. It's like the guy, it's on Charlie Brown's Christmas. Wah, 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 wah. Really, really, really good deals. Pre-owned vehicles at their best here at Champion Chevrolet. ChampionJC.com. Let's take a look at the NBA tonight, the schedule. Nothing yesterday, but a busy, busy schedule tonight. And the National Basketball Association. And so you have Portland at Brooklyn. Boston, the Celtics still red hot at 16 and three. They'll be in Beantown hosting Orlando tonight. The Atlanta Hawks back home to take on the Knickerbockers, a 10 and seven team. Atlanta three and 15. LeBron and the boys will be in Cleveland hosting Charlotte tonight. Charlotte eight and nine. The Cavaliers at 11 and seven. Miami and Minnesota. Toronto, one of the better records in the NBA. The Raptors will be in Indiana to battle the Pacers at 10 and eight. The Detroit Pistons 11 and six at Oklahoma City. New Orleans at Phoenix, Denver, the Nuggets playing host to Memphis, and the defending world champion Golden State Warriors with a record of 13-5 and five, will host the Chicago Bulls tonight. We're having a terrible start to the season. They've played 16 games and lost 13 so far for the Bulls, the Chicago Bulls. So having a tough, tough year for the Bulls in the Windy City. And they're going to be at Golden State tonight, take on the defending world champion, the Golden State Warriors at 13 and five national hockey league on the ice tonight busy 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 night goodness they got a lot of teams all kinds of folks on the ice tonight nashville the predators will be in st louis to battle the blues it's a great matchup preds at 13 and 6 the blues one of the better teams in the national hockey league at 16 and 5 they'll skate tonight at eight o'clock in st louis pittsburgh the penguins the stanley cup champion defending stanley cup champions on the road in boston to battle the bruins tonight Winnipeg and Anaheim, New York, the New York Islanders will be in Philadelphia skating against the Flyers. Colorado skates at Minnesota. Washington hosting Tampa Bay. San Jose, the Sharks will be in Las Vegas to skate against the Golden Knights. And a six o'clock drop the puck. Detroit will be at New York tonight to battle the Rangers. Edmonton at Buffalo. Also in the National Hockey League, Ottawa, the Senators in Columbus to take on the Blue Jackets. Vancouver, the Canucks will be in New Jersey. The Maple Leafs will be skating in Carolina. As we told you, Nashville skates in St. Louis, 8 o'clock <clears throat> Eastern Standard Time. Again, the Preds at 13-6-2. And, and the St. Louis Blues at 16-5-1. Calgary skates at Dallas tonight. And Los Angeles, the Kings, will be in Arizona to skate against the 5-16 Coyotes tonight. That's a look at the National Hockey League here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Hey, if you are getting ready to go see Grandma this weekend at Grandma's house and need your ears lowered, tell you where you need to go. Our buddy Cherokee Barbershop's very own The Gator Man. Again, haircuts are free. Cup of coffee costs you 11 bucks. Get to keep the cup. And so he's in South Roan Street, right down from Tipton Haynes Working Farm in Executive Park South. And when the Gator, uh, the barber pulls out, the Gator Man's in. And this is a busy, busy time of the year for him. A lot of folks getting their hair ears loaded, if you will, going somewhere this weekend to see mom or grandma or the in-laws or somebody. So if you're looking to get a beard trim or a haircut, or a little guy gets a haircut too, they can put that, uh, they put that seat across the chair, the booster seat, and the little guys get their haircut there too. It's a men's barber shop, kind of a throwback to the old day. Lots of pictures, lots of uh, memorabilia. It's really cool stuff, and so it's all there right now and has been there at Executive Park South at Cherokee Barbershop. My man, the Gator Man, 
there again at South Rhone Street, right down from Tipton Haynes Working Farm and Executive Park South. And again, when the barber pulls out, the Gator Man's in. And so we appreciate him being one of our great sponsors here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. We'll take another break. We'll come right back. we got coming up at the top of the hour. Carmichael's going to join us, and we're looking forward to having him on coming up in about 30 minutes or so. We'll take another break, come back, take a look at high school football playoffs in Tennessee and in Virginia. It is here. It is time. And so we'll see how that goes for the semifinals tonight in the high school football. The winners will meet next week for the championship in their respective classes, and we'll see who's still playing statewide. We'll do that right after you hear this. We're live here at Champion Chevrolet on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Again, show number 640 on the Tom Taylor Sports Show, TomTaylorSports.com. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air-conditioned cushion seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. Do you need an event catered? At Fields Dream Pit, we cater for gatherings over 50 people. Weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, company picnics, sporting banquets, to name a few. We can set up, clean up, and of course serve. We also offer value packs that include all the food. You pick that up and serve it yourself. Check out our webpage at fieldsdreampit.com. That's fieldsdreampit.com. Fields Dream Pit, Eastern Star Exit on I-26, open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And we're a phone call away at 423 349 Six four three seven three four nine six four three seven. Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen, recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30 plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard, we've got you covered. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles, to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. Back at Champion Chevrolet again, the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Again, show number 640. Again, on this Friday, November the 24th. Take a look at high school football. Final four is down to final four in each classification in Tennessee. Only one standing here locally. We'll tell you about that in a moment. In 1A, South Pittsburgh 13-0 at Greenback, 12-1 tonight. Also in 1A football, Lake County 11-2 at Cornersville, 12-1. Small print, got to put the lid, lenses on. Oh, boy, it jumps off the page now. 2A football, Chattanooga Tyner tonight, 11-2 at Rockwood, 10-3. All the games start at 7. Also in the semifinals in 2A football, Union City, 11-2 at Columbia Academy, 12-1 in Tennessee. In 3A football, Red Bank, the Lions at Alcoa tonight, both at 11-2. They'll play that one at Alcoa. 
Covington 12 and 1 at Pearl Cone 11 and 2 tonight. In 4A football, the Greenville Green Devils at 13 and 0 hosting Marshall County tonight at 10 and 3 in the semifinals of 4A football. Haywood 11 and 2 on the other side of the bracket will play at Springfield tonight 10 and 3. Also in Tennessee, 5A football, Knox Catholic 10 and 3 at Knox Central 8 and 5 tonight. Brighton will be at Beach. Beach undefeated at 13 and 0. Brighton at 9 and 4 in 5A state semifinal football and in 6A, Maryville at 12 and 1 playing host to Oakland 13 and 0. That could be the state championship right there. Whitehaven would say, "Well, no, we're still playing too." Whitehaven 11 and 2 at Cane Ridge at 12 and 1. That's the 6A final four coming up again. Tonight, all the games start at 7 o'clock across the great state of Tennessee. In Virginia, we've got two games going on tomorrow involving local teams. At 1 o'clock tomorrow in Class 1 Region D, J.I. Burton will be in Chow, in Chowhowie, rather, to battle the Warriors. J.I. Burton at 7 and 5, Chowhowie at 9 and 3. And at 2 o'clock tomorrow, Class 1 Region, or I'm sorry, Class 2 Region D. Graham, the G-Men at 11 and 1, at Union 12 and 0. That'll be going on at 2 o'clock on Saturday tomorrow. The 1 o'clock game, G.I. Burton at Joe Howie. That's what you've got going on there in high school football in Tennessee and in Virginia. Don't forget tonight we're bringing you the semifinals of the Hardy's Classic 28th Annual from Crockett High School. Yours truly along with Clark Powers bringing it to you. Clark, Coach Powers doing the color commentating tonight. We've got game one, Volunteer and Jefferson County. We'll start that one at 6.50, tip off at 7, and turn right around, come right back behind that one and bring you the nightcap between the Sullivan's Highs Rebels and the Morristown East Hurricanes. So that's your final four, if you will, the semifinals coming up tonight. Again, in the 28th Annual Hardy's Classic at Crockett High School in Jonesboro. We'll take another quick break. We'll come right back. We'll switch gears and bring for you college basketball Busy night last night and yesterday, and a busy weekend, busy Friday night, as a matter of fact, for college basketball. We'll tell you all about that coming up. Talk about the Vols, the Lady Vols, the Lady Bucks. Got all that for you. College basketball segment coming up next later on at the top of the hour. Carmichael joins us. A little bit past that will be our buddy Mike Hedrick, the NASCAR fans reporter, and also Dave Martin from WLW Radio. All that coming up straight ahead here on this Friday edition of the Tom Taylor Sports Show, show number 640, as we're live again at Champion Chevrolet on the Bristol Motor Mile in Johnson City. Quick break, college basketball segment next here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the things that owner Tim Smith is most proud of is their hard-earned certifications. We are an ASC Blue Seal shop, which is important because what it tells the customer is we care enough to get certified, not in one certain area of cars. You have to be certified in eight different certifications, in eight different tests you have to take, and you have to be updated on them yearly to to make sure that you're uh, up to date. We not only have one of those, we have three ASE Master Technicians here. With the ratio goes into a ratio, and it's, we're a Blue Seal shop, so uh, it tells you that we we care about training and we care about knowing about your car. We want to help fix it right. American Import and Auto Repair, West Market Street, Johnson City, home of the free loaner car program. Open six days a week. Call today, 913-3111. Hi, I'm Rob Cole with Bays Mountain Park. There's something for everyone at Bays Mountain Park. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or simply looking to get away and relax, Bays Mountain Park in Kingsport, Tennessee is the perfect destination. For only $4 per vehicle, enjoy 3,500 acres of breathtaking scenery, featuring 40 miles of hiking trails, wildlife habitats, one of the southeast premier planetariums, and much, much more. For more information, please visit www.baysmountain.com or call us at 423 229 9447 Bays Mountain Park one of the Tri-Cities best places for learning leisure and recreation if you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard it is important to protect yourself you may not feel the sun's heat but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather blue lizard sunscreen recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide our SPF 30 plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard, we've got you covered. Your life is always changing. You never know what shape it will take. 
or how your financial needs might change. But if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family, the future becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today. Live at the Tom Daly Sports Show, live at Champion Chevrolet. Woo, it's busy out here today. There's a lot of folks on the lot, and why would you not be taking advantage of the GM pricing discount? You get the same discount here at Champion Chevrolet through the end of November on select 2017s. So those would be Silverados, Traverses, Expresses, Tahoes, and Suburbans, as if you're an employee at General Motors and or Champion Chevrolet. So uh, that is one of those rare instances Tim is right. Andy said four times in about 11 years. Is that about right? The GM pricing. They don't do it very often, do they? Yeah. I think Andy said like three or four times in the last 11 years. So this is not one of those, well, we'll wait till next year and do it then. You don't know if it's going to be here next year. So uh, the GM employee pricing on selected 2017 Silverados, Traverses, Expresses, Tahoes, and Suburbans. That's through the end of the month. Also, you can get 20% off select 2017 Cruises, Malibu, Corvettes, Sonic, and Impalas, or 0% up to 72 months or six years in lieu of the 20%. It's so really three ways to save here at the end of the month. The month of November here, again, as the Christmas shopping season has officially kicked in. And I know driving past Walmart last night, of course, it started there at 6 o'clock. That place was rocking. And so, uh, there's good traffic here on the lot today as well. Let's take a look at college basketball here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. First up, we'll start with the guys in fifth-ranked Villanova. Uh, again, Jalen Brunson scored 25 points to help Villanova rally from 15 points down to beat Tennessee 85-76 to in the semifinals of the battle for Atlantis, earning a trip to the championship game. Villanova 5-0, and Tennessee beginning to get it together. Volunteers at 3-1, and Grant Williams scored 20 for the balls and the losing calls. And so the Volunteers will take on North Carolina State today in the third place game and Paradise Island in the Bahamas. So, uh, again, have already defeated, had a big win over Purdue on Sunday. So Rick Barnes' Tennessee men's team starting to put it together. And so they're coming off a big overtime win against number 18 Purdue in the first round. And so they almost got fifth-ranked Villanova, but they rallied to, they scored, uh, what, 15 points down to turn around and win it 85-76. to 76. Also from the lady side, Anastasia Hay scored number 12 Tennessee's last five points in the final minute of overtime. Now think about that. She scored five points in the final minute of overtime by herself, and three Lady Vols finished with double digits. They defeat 101-99 victory over number 20 Marquette Thursday, the Cancun Challenge. So, again, Holly Warlick and the Lady Vols beginning to get their show together and their act together as Tennessee now runs a record of 4-0 on the season. And Marquette falls to one and two, but the Lady Vols win 101-99 over number 20 Marquette at the Cancun Challenge in Mexico. So big win for the Lady Vols there uh, out of the country, and that's very impressive. A little closer to home at Metaview today. It's time for the show, they call it. Again, the third consecutive year, the NAI Division II Basketball Showcase has expanded to a three-day event. It includes 12 men's and six women's college basketball teams participating in a total of 20 games from tonight through Sunday. Men's teams locally in Milligan. Also, you have Union, Southeastern, Robert Morris, West Virginia Tech, Warner, Rio Grande, Reinhardt, Northern Illinois, I'm sorry, Northern Ohio, Indiana East, Michigan Dearborn, and Washington Adventist. That would be the guys' teams. The women's teams will be Rio Grande, Southeastern, Union, West Virginia Tech, Indiana East, Northern Ohio, Georgetown College, and Washington 
Adventist. So, also they've added a pair of high school games. Newly formed Bristol Prep takes on Believe Red today at 6 o'clock, followed by Believe White matching up against Beckley Prep at 8 o'clock. So, there you go. That's all going on again, as we said, this weekend at Meadowview Conference Resort and Convention Center in Kingsport. They call it the show, and it's happening today again in, as we said, in Meadowview. What else happening tonight? The Lady Bucks of East Tennessee State taking on Notre Dame in the Gulf Coast Showcase. The Lady Bucks at 4-1, and one, Notre Dame at 3-0, and oh, number six ranked in the country. A very, very tall basketball team, so that will be going on tonight. So good luck to the Lady Bucks trying to knock off the Lady Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, number six in the country at the Gulf Coast Showcase in Florida for tonight. All right, let's see what's going on. Top 25 college basketball from yesterday. Ninth-ranked North Carolina, no problem with Portland. Beat them 102-78. As we told you, fifth-ranked Villanova defeats Tennessee 85-76. 21st-ranked yesterday, St. Mary's 18.1 over Harvard, who's now 2-3. and three. The number one-ranked Duke Blue Devils had to struggle, but they hung on to win and won 99-81 over Portland State, who's now 4-1. and one. Duke is now 6-0, and oh, the number one-ranked team in the country. 15th-ranked Xavier. They win over George Washington, 83-64. to Musketeers now 5-0 on the season. 20th-ranked Seton Hall runs their record of 4-1. Well, they actually got beat. I'm sorry. Rhode Island knocked them off in an upset, 75-74. Didn't read it right. And so Seton Hall gets beat by Rhode Island, 75-74. to It was Western Kentucky knocking off 18th-ranked Purdue, 77-73. Also, you have 23rd-ranked West Virginia. The Mountaineers run their record of 4-1. West Virginia defeating Marist 84-78. to They're now 0-4 on the season. Number two, Arizona upset, as we talked about earlier in the show. SMU 5-1, upsetting Arizona, who's now 3-2, 66-60. 7th-ranked Florida, 21-point win over Stanford. The Gators now 7th in the country and 4-0 on the season. And you have number four, Michigan State. The Spartans run their record of 3-1 and one as they beat DePaul 73-51 to last night in men's top 25 college basketball. For today, here's your schedule. It's busy, busy, busy schedule. You have today, top-ranked Duke will be at Texas. That's a good one. 6-0 and Blue Devils, 4-0 and Longhorns tonight. West Virginia, 23rd-ranked Mountaineers at home in Morgantown at 4-1, and hosting Central Florida, who's 4-0. and Other ball games involving top 25 teams today. Uh, let's see, you have yeah, fifth-ranked Villanova taking on UNI. Villanova 5-0, and UNI at 5-1. and UMass and Minnesota, the Golden Gophers, 14th in the country at 5-0. and Again, hosting UMass, who's 3-1. and 21st-ranked St. Mary, 5-0, and and Washington State, who's 4-0. 25th-ranked Alabama, there'll be a 2.30 tip-off at BYU today. You have ninth-ranked North Carolina and Arkansas, both at 4-0. They'll tip it up at 3-30 today. Also, top 25 basketball. As we told you, West Virginia's playing, Duke's playing, Xavier, 15th-ranked Musketeers, will be at Arizona State, both at 5-0 in the season. Good matchup there. St. Francis of Pennsylvania at 2-2 two two will be at number 19th-ranked Louisville, who's at 3-0. Third-ranked Kansas, the Jayhawks at 4-0, hosting Oakland 2-2. Two 16th ranked Texas A&M in men's basketball, 4-0, hosting Pepperdine, who's 2-3. and 18th ranked Purdue, 4-2, and two, the Boilermakers traveling at number two Arizona today. Good matchup there, 18 versus 2. Vanderbilt, a 2-3 on the season, will be on the road at 20th ranked Seton Hall. And 7th ranked Florida will be an 11 o'clock t- tip-off tonight against 17th ranked Gonzaga. And so big weekend, a big Friday night, obviously, for high school and college Basketball. Don't forget, coming up tonight, we do have for you, as we said, the Hardy's Classic. We've got the semifinals, Volunteer Jeff County, Sullivan South of Morristown East. We'll have those for you right here again on the uh, Tom Taylor Sports Show website, Facebook page as well, at TomTaylorSports.com. There it is, the streaming audio now, the Hardy's Classic Basketball Tournament. And so we'll do that again starting at 6.50 tonight and run it all the way through uh, the conclusion of the second game between Sullivan South and Morris County. So but that's what's going on there today in high school basketball. Quick break. We'll be right back. We'll jump in and go a little early. We'll check in with our buddy Mike Hedrick, the NASCAR fans reporter. He's going to join us coming up next year on show number 640 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show talking NASCAR next.
Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. It's Model Your Clothes Out with Jim Employ pricing and 20% off on 17 models of Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City. It's a great time to take advantage of closeout savings on our selection of over 300 Chevys to choose from. 17 1500 work truck 23995, 17 track 17548, 17 cruise 16488, 17 spark 10950, 17 Malibu 18985. Closeout savings, Saturday parts and service hours, and shopping online 24 7 will leave you asking, how do they do that? Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. Do you like pulled pork? At Phil's, the pulled pork is cooked low and slow. We cook it all night, but we serve it fast. Our pulled pork is hickory smoked, tender and juicy. We serve the pork either as a sandwich on a bun or platter style with garlic toast. And don't forget to try our pork wings. They taste like a cross between ham and our sweet ribs. It comes as a meal, as an add-on, or part of our meat sampler platters. Pulled pork and pork wings. Just two great reasons to stop by Phil's Dream Pit. Eastern Star Exit off I-26, 349-6437. Phil's Dream Pit, the quest for perfect barbecue. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. At American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the things that owner Tim Smith is most proud of is their hard-earned certifications. We are an ASC Blue Seal shop, which is important because what it tells the customer is we care enough to get certified, not in one certain area of cars. You have to be certified in eight different certifications, in eight different tests you have to take, and you have to be updated on them yearly to, to make sure that you're uh, up to date. We not only have one of those, we have three ASE Master Technicians here. With the ratio, it goes into a ratio, and it's, we're a Blue Seal shop, so uh, it tells you that we, we care about training and we care about knowing about your car. We want to help fix it right. American Import and Auto Repair, West Market Street, Johnson City, home of the free loaner car program. Open six days a week. Call today, 913-3111. Hi, I'm Rob Cole with Bays Mountain Park. There's something for everyone at Bays Mountain Park. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or simply looking to get away and relax, Bays Mountain Park in Kingsport, Tennessee is the perfect destination. For only $4 per vehicle, enjoy 3,500 acres of breathtaking scenery, featuring 40 miles of hiking trails, wildlife habitat, one of the southeast premier planetariums, and much, much more. For more information, please visit www.baysmountain.com or call us at 423-229-229. 9447 Bays Mountain Park, one of the Tri-Cities' best places for learning, leisure, and recreation. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen, recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30-plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard, we've got you covered. Your life is always changing. You never know what shape it will take or how your financial needs might change. 
But if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family, the future becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today. Back on the Tom Douglas Sports Show, there you see on the screen, on the phone, Mike Hedrick, the NASCAR fans reporter in Northern Virginia. Uh, I would assume that you have got your belly full of some great Thanksgiving food, my friend. Yeah, I'm very thankful. Thank you, good Lord, for everything that you provide for us. And yeah, uh, here after the show, you, you know it, I'm going to be making leftovers. I got me a turkey and cranberry and biscuit. Uh, with my name on it, coming here after the show here a little bit. There he goes. We're talking to Mike Hedrick. Coming up here in just a few minutes, Carmichael's going to join us. So here we go. Tony Stewart's joining the I Fell in Love Parade. So Tony has put a ring on Penelope Jimenez. That's pretty cool. So Mr. Stewart is no longer going to be a bachelor. Tell us about it. Well, you know it's the off season when me and you are, don't have as much stuff to talk about on the track. And there is some great on the track stuff. But, yeah, Tony Stewart announced on Twitter the other day uh, on Thanksgiving that he's engaged to Penelope Jimenez. I, I don't know how you pronounce that. Jimenez, I think it is. Uh, p- people on our show might remember her. For a couple of years, she did some uh, some modeling on The Price is Right. But, uh, yeah, bravo for him. And good thing because... Uh, he has just been getting stalked, and they actually arrested a lady, a 68-year-old lady down in Florida, has been charged with stalking him, has made over 333 calls to his phones and other people. Actually, the lady reported to the authorities that Tony Stewart had narcotics on one of his planes, and the lady went on to actually send some kind of white powder to Tony Stewart's uh, uh, attorneys or whatever. So glad he's got one crazy one out of the way, and <laughs> congratulations. Yeah. Uh, hope he's got a hope he's got a very nice young lady there with him now. I, th- I hope he does as well. We're talking to our buddy Mike Hedrick, the NASCAR fans reporter. Rick Ware racing the number 51 next year. Tell me about it. Yeah, that's great. Uh, at Bristol Motor Speedway, I actually had the opportunity through Bubba Burger to go in, and meet Mr. Rick Ware uh, and be with his small team. And, and in NASCAR, there are certainly different levels of how much money are in the sport. Uh, and, I, and Rick Ware has always been like about a, a B or C level of funding. Uh, they haven't always run a full season. Well, they've got a good driver that they've got for next year. It looks like they've got full season money because uh, Mr. Rick Ware has bought a charter. Now, I'm not sure which team, which of the 40, is giving up the charter for him to be able to get that. But that means that he can actually race all 36 races. So he's going to be racing that number 51. They haven't announced who all the sponsors are going to be on there. And the driver is going to be Ray Black Jr. So to me, that's just a great thing. I, I like the little guy. I like the underdog. When you go and you're down on pit road, you can just see the, the, the price difference in people's pit boxes. Some of them are super tall, and there's 20 people sitting up on there, and some of them are like teeny, and there's only one or two people sitting up on there. So I, I love it. I think it's bravo for the small teams to be able to advance in the sport, which costs a lot of money. So, yeah, congratulations, Rick Ware. We're going to look for them full-time next year. I'm hoping to kind of embed myself with them a little bit. Uh, and maybe do some reporting there a little closer to the track each week. We're talking to our buddy Mike Hedry coming up. Carmichael joins us coming up here in just a few minutes. And so some rule changes for 2018 in NASCAR. What's going on? Well, as soon as you mention rule changes around any NASCAR fans, <laughs> yeah. everybody just exactly. starts screaming. I love NASCAR fans, but, you know, I, I can't please them. NASCAR can't please them, whatever. But they have done something. Uh, to try to, you know, to try to equal out some of the teams that have a lot of money. So on Wednesday morning, NASCAR announced that it was going to kind of make rule standards for the at, at the track teams and the, and the rosters and who they can bring. And what those will mean is, uh, for small teams, as big teams, they can, a big team can afford multiple people at the same position. So let's say, uh, you have an engineer position or an IT specialist. A big team might have 
three engineers and three IT specialists was where a small team might only have just the one. So now uh, NASCAR is standardizing that you can only bring one in each of those different positions, and there's more positions than that. Uh, unless you got multiple teams, and that's a little bit of different. The biggest one that fans will probably see is the over over the wall number. We're going to go from six members being able to go over the wall down to five re, uh, over the wall. Now this move was made for safety, uh, but the first one was made to kind of save some cost cutting. Uh, but what we'll see is we'll probably see the uh, pit times slow down just a tad. I think it's going to be. Well, it'll be like a rear tire carrier or somebody like that that's going to not be in there. The, the back tire carrier is going to have to carry his own or something like that. So uh, I'll let you know a little bit more on which one the teams have decided to, to, to back out and not have there. We know the gas man's got to be there. The jack man's got to be there. So we'll just count the numbers and find out. But, yeah, a little bit of rule changes, and that always makes NASCAR fans scream. And, yeah. hey, we like to have that. It gets them excited. Exactly. We're talking to Mike Hedrick again, the NASCAR fans reporter. We're live at Champion Chevrolet saying hello to James Horn and Betty Perry and A.T. Hello to you, young lady. And Kimmela Williams and Scott Byerly and Tony Briggs and David Compton. And, well, there's Michelle Hedricks watching because her, her man's on the show. Uh, her her better half, or maybe she's his better half. They both got better half, so that's good. So hello to Miss Michelle. Uh, there's a big sponsor change, my friend. Tell me what's going on with that. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, we're hearing that Miller Coors uh, is going to be coming back as the official beer for NASCAR. I'm not sure uh, whether that's a deal that Monster is making a move to do that because we know that Coors winds up having the, the Coors pole position and all that. Uh, so, or, may, or maybe NASCAR is maybe going to move out and not actually have an official beer uh, for NASCAR. But, uh, yeah, that's a little bit different. Uh, something else going on in the sport, uh, Roush Fenway in the Xfinity Series – is going to open up their number 60 Ford Mustang next year and put a couple of young guys in there and give them seat time through the year in the Xfinity Series. They're going to put uh, Ty Majeski in that seat. And then a couple of two guys that we've been talking about all, all season long, Austin Sendrick is going to be in that number 60 Ford, and Chase Briscoe is going to get some seat time in there mm. as well. So good to see that the... Uh, uh, that the, the bigger organizations like Roush Fenway are, or even themselves are, are learning from Joe Gibbs Racing, i.e., uh, Kyle Busch Motorsports and also Hendrix with, you know, uh, Usen Jr. to start grooming these guys up. You're, you're not going to be able to find the guys on the street anymore. You're going to have to bring them up to your organization. So mm-hmm. bravo for Roush Fenway to kind of see that and kind of jump into that train as well. We're talking to Mike Hedrick coming up. Carmichael's going to give us the very latest on who is going to be the next football coach at Tennessee, among other sports topics. He'll join us here momentarily. And Mike Hedrick, what do you want to leave us with? What else is going on? What do you want to leave us with today, my friend? Well, two, two last things. If you're a NASCAR fan, Racing Electronics is having a, a, a sale on their web. Well, like everybody, it's Black Friday. They're having a big sale. Uh, Racing Electronics, go get your stuff from that. And the last one is we did have some violations in that very last cup race, and we found out that Matt Kenseth had uh, a lug nut violation. But, Tom, he doesn't care. No, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. He's <laughs> he out. doesn't care. Yeah. He doesn't care. No, he's out. So, hey, everybody, have a th- I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Hey, tune back in Monday. We're going to talk about Las Vegas Championship Weekend. A lot going on next weekend. So, hey, God bless everybody real good. And, uh, hey, how about some screen taters, my buddy? Screen taters, my buddy. I'll talk to you Monday. Great job. Mike Hedrick. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. Mike Hedrick's with us again from Northern Virginia, the NASCAR fans reporter here on the Tom Davis Sports Show. Quick break. We'll be right back. We'll go from NASCAR to my man Carmichael's in the house. We'll talk some sports. We'll give him a plethora of topics to go over. The Predators, see what he thinks about Nashville right now on the ice. Big day in college football, big weekend in college football. Who's the new coach at Tennessee? Where is Chip Kelly going? He said no to Tennessee, which is a slap in the face of the Big Orange, I think. So we'll see about that. And a busy day in college football going on today. Some games as we speak. And so we'll turn him loose. Carmichael joins us next year on show number 640 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the things that owner Tim Smith is most proud of is their hard-earned certifications. We are an ASC Blue Seal shop, which is important because what it tells the customer is we care enough to get certified, not in one certain area of cars, 
you have to be certified in eight different certifications in eight different tests you have to take and you have to be updated on them yearly to to make sure that you're uh, up to date we not only have one of those we have three ASE master technicians here with the ratio goes into a ratio and it's we're a blue seal shop so uh, it tells you that we we care about training and we care about knowing about your car we want to help fix it right American Import Auto Repair, West Market Street, Johnson City, home of the Free Loaner Car Program. Open six days a week. Call today, 913-3111. Hi, I'm Rob Cole with Bays Mountain Park. There's something for everyone at Bays Mountain Park. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or simply looking to get away and relax, Bays Mountain Park in Kingsport, Tennessee is the perfect destination. For only $4 per vehicle, enjoy 3,500 acres of breathtaking scenery, featuring 40 miles of hiking trails, wildlife habitats, one of the southeast premier planetariums, and much, much more. For more information, please visit www.baysmountain.com or call us at 423-229-9447. Bays Mountain Park, one of the Tri-Cities' best places for learning, leisure, and recreation. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen, recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30 plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard. We've got you covered. Your life is always changing. You never know what shape it will take or how your financial needs might change. But if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family, the future becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today. Back on the Tom Douglas Sports Show. He's here. Let's pull it and look at him right here. My man's in the house. Come on over here and get a little closer, Carmichael. Yeah, we're doing that. We're doing the chair Daddy, moving thing. Doing the chair moving. And got Miss Sarah here with us today doing a little crisp, did a little Christmas shopping already. And Just give me the same thing you got me last year. It was great, which was nothing. That's okay. We'll get you. Uh, friendship matters a lot more. Well, I think we should. And, and after watching the – I don't know who gets the gigs on ESPN3, but there's no doubt after watching – the Bucks on football and basketball. We should be doing at least the basketball game. I watched the game the other night. I couldn't tell who it was. Zach Gaffendaphilus, <laughs> the actor, or Daniel Bryan, the wrestler, was the play-by-play guy. Yeah. And Bruce Trambarger, God love him, 30-some years. He look, doesn't look a day older than he did when he was at Dobbins Bennett playing basketball. He still was almost bald like he was Dobbins Bennett back in the day. Trambarger played Ole Miss. And they were doing the Bucks game, and I'm like, if they could do the game, Tom and I would be like Mike Breen and oh, yeah. Jeff Van Gundy doing the game. Gold would be yes, gold. Yes, it would yeah. be like the old days. Yes. Yeah, we ought to. We ought to I don't know who gets that gig. Maybe we need some other dealer car dealership up the road has their sponsorship. Maybe if they had a classy dealership like this place sponsoring the Buck Games, mm-hmm. we would uh, open the doors. We'll open the doors. Yes. There you go. Yeah, he's got a good point. You watch some of these guys on there, and you go. Hmm. So. Especially ESPN three, ESPN three. You see every sport. 
you see every sport imaginable on oh, yeah. ESPN3. Oh, yeah. All right, let's jump in here and go. I got him for a few minutes, and he and Miss Sarah are going to do some more Christmas shopping. So, college football. Where are we in the UT football search? Well, Chip, either, if you believe reports, either Chip Kelly turned UT down or UT turned Chip Kelly down. I've seen a little bit of both. I don't think Chip Kelly wants in the fishbowl that's Knoxville, Tennessee, or uh-huh. Gainesville, Florida. Uh-huh. People would think, well, he's going to Los Angeles at UCLA, but out there, there's no pressure. No. As long as you keep winning, that's what gets their coaches fired at UCLA is losing. Darnell got fired when he was out there. He, he started losing. Uh, Jim Mora, he lasts a year or two everywhere he goes, and he starts losing, and, and that's why he got fired. At UCLA, if there's – you're, okay, you got the, in Los Angeles. You got the Dodgers. Mm-hmm. You got the Lakers. Mm-hmm. You've got basically two NFL teams. Mm-hmm. You got two NHL teams. Mm-hmm. You've got the Clippers. You've got uh, the Los Angeles Angels. You've got USC football and UCLA basketball. Then you have UCLA. So it's like it's it's about the twelfth sport out there. Yeah, priorities. So Ch- nah. Chip can just he can recruit that California and that West Coast area. He can go out there and play in that Southern Division now. Granted, he gets UCLA, I mean, he gets USC at least once a year. But, you know, he doesn't have to play organs like probably every other year. Uh, Stanford's probably every other year because they're in the north. He's in there with the, the, the those lower California teams and the Arizona teams in Colorado and Colorado, too. So, I mean, it's a cakewalk. It's a no-brainer. He'll take, I think, the UCLA job. Slap in the face to Tennessee that he said no? No. Because I mean, he's, he he's also, and he's, and you know what? Here's the thing about him: he's crazy. He's he's <laughs> he's literally a crazy man. So let him go out. That's the, you know, if Under Armour and Troy Aikman want to help recruit him out there, go right ahead. Yeah. He he has no respect for defenses, not only as an offensive mind, but he has no respect for his own defense. That fast tempo offense. The only thing it does for you, it wears your defense down because you're you're not on the field much when you're on offense. Now your defense is out on the field, and that's what everybody, you know, you, he's got to outscore everybody. So I just, I think it's let him go. He needs going to the West. He's a West Coast guy. Dan Mullen loses the Egg Bowl last night. Does that hurt his chances to be the Tennessee coach? You know, yes and no. I mean, you have to think no because Fitzgerald, Nick Fitzgerald got injured there, gruesome injury. Dislocated ankle there early in the game. He basically plays with a freshman who's not really played at all all year. But of all games to lose, especially this year with as much going on down there with the NCAA, to lose that game, not be able to slam the door on Ole Miss, the guy who really comes out like a bandit in this, I think, is Matt Luke. Uh, it, to me, if you're Ole Miss, I don't see how you not hire him. He's got, in a year like it's once went on down there, he's got six wins. He beat Mississippi State at Mississippi State. I mean, to me, it's a no-brainer. Give him the job full-time because you're going to have to gonna have to go through probation. So what better guy? He's got Ole Miss ties. And if he's not been involved in any of the uh, alleged recruiting violations, he should get the job. Mm-hmm. So n- now if I'm UT, I really, my focus is on two guys. Dan Mullen. Scott Scott Frost. Oh, oh, I think Scott Frost. I think he's the. I just am always uh, the what job he has done at Central Florida. They've even went Central Florida had a tougher schedule than Mississippi State this year. A lot of people think Central Florida is a better team than Mississippi State this year. Scott Frost has been. He was an offensive coach, offensive mind. He played quarterback in college, but when he went to the NFL, he converted to defensive back. So he's got the knowledge and experience on both sides of the football. He, When he started coaching as an assistant, he was a defensive backs coach. So he's got the experience. He relates to the kids. I think he's a great hire, would be a great hire. And Matt Campbell from Iowa State. Beat two top five teams this year at Iowa State. Name me the last time. Tell me the last time Tennessee's beat two t- in one year. T- tell me the last time Tennessee's beat two top five teams. Much one top five team, much less two. Gotcha. So uh, those two guys, I'm just. Well, if Tennessee hires either one of them, I'd be excited. If they hire Mullen, to me Mullins, to me Mullins is vanilla. He's just your he, and he'll never. I don't know if he could ever take Tennessee to the next level. Tennessee's a job. That you, with the right coach, you can be in contention for a national championship year after year. 
John DeCarmichael. We're live at Champion Chevrolet again. A busy morning and busy afternoon so far on this day after Thanksgiving with the GM pricing where you can get the discount pricing just as if you were an employee of General Motors or Champion Chevrolet. And that's, I think, four times in 11 years it's happened. So if you say, well, we'll wait and do that next year, it may not be there next year. So take advantage to the end of the month. GM, so what's it called to be official? It's called GM Employee Pricing. Again, right here at Champion Chevrolet and the Bristol Motor Mile, Johnson City. But then, again, if Tony Stewart can get married to a, a female, yeah. Tennessee still has a chance at, at John Gruden. <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> – I mean, he if – I mean, I, but, well, I mean, but, but if Tony Stewart, you know, I, the only thing I thought Tony Stewart would ever marry would be an, an automobile. Yeah. Penelope but, Jimenez. Penel- I mean, that was, my wife told me that last night, and I almost dropped my – Thanksgiving dinner. And I'm a Tony Stewart. I was a Tony Stewart fan. I'm, I'm not. I don't root for anybody in NASCAR anymore since Mr. Stewart's retired. But when I did that, literally, almost I said, "Was what's the car's name?" And she said, "It's a, a woman, a female." <laughs> Penelope. <laughs> Penelope. <laughs> it, well, that's the shock. If you saw the ring, they call it the Rock, and for a reason because this thing is a rock. A, a picture of it on Facebook. I mean, on the uh, internet. So Tony Stewart has gotten well, engaged. Doesn't so. have to pay Danica next year, so he can <laughs> so he can <laughs> afford to. Pay he can afford to buy. There you go. <laughs> Telling our buddy Carmichael. So uh, let's see. Let's talk. Oh, let's run down the picking panel real quick. See what you think, and we'll get into some college hoops. And I don't got you for a limited time because Miss Sarah wants to go shopping. Vandy at Tennessee. Oh boy, I'm going with Vandy. As bad as I hate to, but okay. the Jawan, the Jawan Jennings thing. That was just the where he got thrown off the team, I think. Went off on Instagram. Went off on and he's and he's right. They've not been coached very well this year. I mean, you know, what they should have done with him was said, okay, you know what, we're gonna susp- he was just a junior. We're gonna suspend him for this game and then we're gonna let the next coach deal with him. That's yeah. what should have happened. I mean he's right about everything that's went on. He's the only He's the only player. He's from what I understand, he's a great teammate. It's not like he's he's just like a loose cannon. He's a, from all accounts, he's a great teammate. So I, they're going to mail it in tomorrow, I believe. The Iron Bowl, Alabama and Auburn. I'm going with Auburn. Woo! All I'm right. pushing my chips to the middle of, to the table and going with Auburn, playing at Auburn. See, Alabama's banged up on defense, especially linebackers, front line linebackers. I like Auburn to be able to they'll run the ball some, but be able to throw the ball as long as Gus doesn't get in the way of the offensive <laughs> coordinator and just lets him do his job. Yeah. Then I think Auburn wins, upsets Alabama, goes on to the SEC title game with Georgia. Seminoles and Gators and Gainesville. Ooh, boy, it's going to be an ugly game. But Florida State might have got their offense going last week, thrashing Delaware State 77-6. to So, And I go with Florida State. FSU. Yeah. All right. Ohio State and Michigan. At the big house. Mission banged up at quarterback. Uh, I don't see how they can score any points. I like Ohio State. All right. Clemson at South Carolina. South Carolina keeps it a lot closer than last year. Last year was 56-7. But I like Clemson to win the game and advance on. They keep their national uh, title hopes alive. All right. Georgia, Georgia Tech. Georgia. I think they – Georgia Tech's option would give them trouble. But I think somewhere fourth quarter, Georgia makes a big stop on defense. They make a play. And Nick Chubb was just too much for Georgia Tech. Commonwealth Cup, Virginia Tech, Virginia today, or actually tonight in Charlotte. Virginia Tech. Hokey, hokey, hokey. Yeah, Virginia, I think some effects of that blown second half lead against Miami last week. Louisville, Kentucky. Whew. Last year, this was a game that really – Killed what chance uh, Jackson had. I mean, killed what chance Louisville had at maybe making a post late postseason run. I like Louisville to win this. Okay, and because you know when we talk about coaches in the SEC who's under the gun could be fired, I haven't heard anything about Mark Stoops and that Kentucky to me has under to they me has it. been underwhelmed. I mean, that has been an underwhelming team this year. I really thought they would be like an eight-win team. They were 5-1 and one and just hit the skids. Right, so. and to me, I don't see how he's not under the gun unless it's like, well, you make some changes and then next year is – because tomorrow, Sunday is going to be – Sunday yeah. and Monday is going to be is going to be awful for coaches around the country and especially yeah. in the SEC. I would agree. And also Bobby Petrino. 
Bookman. This guy up in yeah. Louisville is underperformed too, no question. So, But I'm not hearing anything about him being in trouble. But no. I have heard about Kevin Sumlin, our next game, Texas A&M, Texas A&M at LSU. Uh, Sumlin's in trouble. I've been told he's going to get fired after the game. So that sure makes you feel good. It's right. Like, and I like uh, – I think the are on the boys win and they let, down at LSU. I just think – I think Texas a and is another team just really ready for the season to be over with. We're talking to our buddy Carmichael. Would you get Kevin Sumlin to come coach at Tennessee? I would think I would think about it. I would probably take one of the two other younger coaches, but if they both told me no, he would be on that list with Dan Mullen. He would be that next – to me, it's Campbell or Frost. And if you can't get one of those, then if I go that next step down, then it's Mullen or Sumlin. Last one, the – Called the Apple Apple Bowl, Washington State, Washington. Oh God, crazy Mike! Did, if you saw the video this week about the reporter who was getting married, and he asked Mike Leach oh, yeah. for some advice. <laughs> Got marital advice. <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, if you haven't seen it, YouTube it. It's it's just it's classic. Yeah. I mean, it is a classic. <laughs> I like it was. I like Washington State to win. All right, we're talking to Carmichael. Let's switch gears here. Let's talk a little college hoops. I think we got most of the big the college football game settled, so let's take a little college hoops. Uh, Duke, your number one team? Yeah, but, you know, really, they're struggling defensively. They play much better when they go to the zone. They were down last night into the second half against Portland at Portland State in that uh, Phil Knight basketball tournament that they've got going on in Portland. Mm-hmm. And they really defensively this year, to me, have kind of underperformed. You know, they've still won games and been doing well, but they've underperformed. They've underperformed defensively, but I think they play much better when they play zone. And if he'll he'll stick with that, they have a chance to go far this year. Bucks laid an egg, got beat by Troy. Although they're the defending Sun Belt Conference champions, so it's not a total disgrace. But uh, you got to win your games at home. And the Bucks lose. I watched the first half of that game Tuesday night, and a little bit of the second half. Couldn't shoot the basketball. Struggled to shoot the basketball. They they went. It seemed like five minutes both teams did without scoring, and. ETSU is a team. They're feast or famine. If they're if the three's going down for them, they're going to roll. But if they don't if they don't shoot the three that well, they're going to struggle. Living and dying by the three pointer. Speaking of basketball, don't forget tonight we'll be broadcasting Clark Powers and myself bringing you the semifinals, the Hardy's Classic. Volunteer Jeff County in Game One, Sullivan South and Morristown East in Game Two. We'll start at 6:50 and run them back to back live from the Hardy's Classic in Jonesboro. Arizona lost last night. Arizona did lose last that night. That was the same. To SMU, that's a team. You know, Arizona's another one of those teams that's got to deal with the uh, FBI investigation. They're in right in the crosshairs of it. So, yep. you had three lose last night. Twentieth ranked Seton Hall loses to Rhode Island. Eighteenth ranked Purdue loses to Western Kentucky, and Arizona got knocked off number two in the country by the Mustangs of SMU. And Western Kentucky has played well at times. Rhode Island is a team that very well could win the Atlantic Ten this year. Uh, but Getting ready to call him Dan Hurley, Danny, not Bobby. Yeah. But Danny Hurley coaching Rhode Island. They got a chance to win the Atlantic 10, so not as big an upset as you might imagine. A couple of good games tonight. Number one, Duke at Texas, 6 0 Dukies, 4 0 Longhorns in Arlington, and 15th ranked Xavier at 5 0 at Arizona State, 5 0. Two pretty good ball games. Yes, Duke, Duke is in this tournament. This, this, say, uh, it's a 16 teams, all of them are Nike teams. And they're out there. It's Phil Knight's 80th birthday, so it's the PK-80 is what it's being called. And they're playing in Portland. They're playing in the old Memorial Coliseum where the Blazers used to play. And you kind of go out the door and across the street. And <laughs> you walk. They showed uh, Jeff Goodman doing the walk last night. It's about a three-, four-minute walk. And then you walk into the Rose Garden, the new building where the Trail Blazers play. Well, you got eight teams playing over here. you got eight teams playing over here. And then eventually they'll merge they're playing uh, like the semifinals of one building tonight, the finals tomorrow, and then they come back and play. The cha- then the two champions will play, two teams will mm. play Sunday. It's a neat, Concept. unique event. Carolina, Duke, uh, Michigan State, Miami. It's just a who's who of basketball, and they're all, all Nike schools out there playing. Switch gears, National Hockey League. Preds are not on the ice in St. Louis against the Blues. Preds 13-6, and six, Blues 16-5. and five. Yeah, It should be a good matchup. The Preds have been on a tear as of late. Uh, they had some home games here. They have they really played well. They beat, Mont- they beat both Winnipeg and Montreal this week. Both of them at home going to St. Louis tonight. That should be a good matchup. St. Louis has played well. A contender. It's a big division game. 
anytime you play St. Louis, Chicago, Dallas, Winnipeg, it's not only for points for that, but it's points to get in the – it's because you're playing now a division rival, and that means a lot. But Nashville, picking up Kyle Turris to stabilize their second center line has done well for them. Their offense has started to click, and this should be a great game tonight. 30 seconds. Golden State, Chicago, no problem. Golden State, 13-5. Oh, yeah, they'll, get, they'll get back on the – They'll get back on the skit or after losing to Oklahoma City on uh, Wednesday night. Major League Baseball, the polls are out for the Hall of Fame next year. Chipper Jones on the ballot, Jim Tomey, and his 600-plus home runs. Uh, holdovers Trevor Hoffman and Vladimir Guerrero, so they're going to maybe get two or three in for next year. What do you think? Here out of this list, it, and if I had a vote, it would be Chipper Jones would have my vote. Barry Bonds would have my vote. Roger Clemens would have my vote. Edgar Martinez would have my vote. Trevor Hoffman would have my vote. Uh, is there anybody on the back side of that page? I don't think. Oh, out of that. Jeff little... Kent, Sheffield, Wagner, Sosa. You know, and I'm going to tell you about somebody, and he was a jerk. Jeff Kent was just a, was a, an awful jerk as a person. But as if you take him and what he was as a second baseman with the power, he is right there with the guys like Joe Morgan, Ryan Sandberg. He might not make it. It might take him to the 13th, 14th ballot to get in. But to me, Jeff Kent, if you just take his numbers, their Hall of Fame numbers, mm-hmm. if you're going to take a relief pitcher, not Billy White, it would be Trevor Hoffman. But Chipper Jones to me is automatic. Chipper Jones is the first ballot Hall of Famer. He's the greatest player. He's the greatest player in Atlanta Brave history. Mm -hmm. Now, Hank Aaron's the greatest player in the history of the club, but Hank did as much in Milwaukee Milwaukee as he did Atlanta. But from the time in Atlanta till now, Chipper Jones by far is the the greatest player in Brave history. A couple of other first-timers on the ballot, Scott Rowland, Omar Vizquel, uh, Johan Santana, Andrew Jones, Johnny Damon, Kerry Wood. Kerry Wood pitched maybe maybe one of the best pitch games of – that I've ever seen him out when he pitched a one hitter and it was a swing and bunt single. He struck out 20 Houston Astros on a day in Wrigley Field back years ago. Omar Vizquez is a guy who might get in the Hall of Fame one day, maybe another like 14th, 15th year. He's the greatest defensive shortstop after Ozzie Smith. He had about 20, I want to say 24, 25, 2600 hits. Uh, I think he's, he may not. I think he deserves consideration. But, uh, you know, the Bonds, the Joe Morgan letters stating say, that they should not vote for, okay, Joe, if you're going to say that, well, then what about these guys that took amphetamines? What about you that probably took greenies back in the day? You know, you're wanting to put those, and then you don't, and you're also wanting to put Pete Rose, who did gamble on baseball, because that's one of the cardinal rules. Mm-hmm. If you want to, you know, Watch what houses you throw stones. Stone, 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 glass, glass houses. houses. So go. he should just left that alone. All right, Parks and Rec, I want you to get on the horn to call somebody and find out how we do ESPN3 ball games. Yes, we need to do I'm that. Serious, we could do it. <laughs> um, know, would you do it if I do it? Oh, yes. How do we do it? Do I don't it? know. I don't know who got the game. Well, I know that this dealership up the street yeah. has the, is the, like one of my, and I don't know how. I mean, I'm like. Yeah, we need to call somebody at ESPN3. Yeah. It's not the sponsor. It's somebody there. That well, did, yeah. That and I don't know who. Because, because Mark Hutzel did the football, and Mark was a great guy. I went to, he was a record setting quarterback at ETSU back today. I had some classes with him when I was in school out there. Mm-hmm. Mark did football. I don't know who the guy was that did the football on the, who did the play-by-play, but like I said, I turned the game on the other night, and I, and I heard the guy say Bruce Trambar, and I went. I just snickered because I know he's local, but he didn't go to ETSU. He went to Ole Miss and played basketball. Mm-hmm. And this dude was. I told my wife. I said, "Is that not Zach Gadafalos? The guy that was in the hunt, the Hangover, and some of the movies with the red hair and the red beard. Mm-hmm. He looked like Santa Claus almost." All time leading but, scorer DB Mark uh, Bruce yes, Trambar. Yes, Bruce Trambar. Yes, back yeah. in the, yeah back. Now he wasn't a best player to ever play DB. Uh, I think that's Skip Brown. Skip I, to Brown. me, that's yeah. being a, as uh, old man as I am to remember these things, I think Skip Brown's best player. Skip play Brown's it. one of the best players. Skip Brown's one of the f- four or five best high school basketball players to have ever played in this area. Mm-hmm. He can do it. And he's 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 on the short list. Yep. So, well, Carmichael, a couple of Parks and Rec things before we let you keep going Christmas shopping. We got one day only Daddy Dollar Flashdance tickets. Daddy Dollar Dance this year is going to be Saturday, February 3rd. 
Uh, Miss Sarah and I go just about every year to the Daddy Daughter Dance. We go and and do it less and have a good time. They're going to have a one day only flash sale. The tickets are going on December eighth from eight a.m. to eight p.m. and you can get the tickets either at MPCC or online at www.myjcparks.com. It's fifteen dollars for two tickets. Normally it's ten dollars a ticket. But now you can get this deal, this one day only deal, fifteen dollars for two tickets. So mm. it's a great. I, that's that's when I'll make my. I'll go down to Memorial Park and purchase my two tickets for Sarah and I for the dance. And it's five dollars for an additional ticket. Say if you want to bring two ch- children to the dance, twenty dollars for three for all three of you to go. But normally the full price tickets are ten dollars, and they'll go on sale January fifth. So uh, remember this, Friday, December 8th from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. in person at Memorial Park Community Center or all day online at myjcparks.org. And then the Friday night dances for December. Uh, the senior services have a usual Friday night dance. December 1st, limited edition. I don't think that's Kenny Rogers in the first edition. <laughs> and, but I think I it's, that's where you're going with that. Yeah, but it's limited edition will be there December 1st. And kids our age will be there December 15th. Uh, cost is $5 with a silver sneaker discount for eligible participants. And you can pre-register and pay in person at the Memorial Park Senior Service Desk. Now, if you Memorial Park, we've got two desks there. We have the recreation side up there. You can do a lot of, a lot of the stuff, any of the programming, recreation programming for all ages, that's there. But if you just want to do something down at Senior Services, and they have some great programming at Senior Services, uh, you go down on the senior service side, and they'll take care of you there. You might want to look online at www.myjcparks.org, especially if you're 50 and over. They're a great programming. They take a group, I know, to ETSU football and basketball games. I know they're talking. Uh, Jim Hastings does that. Uh, used to coach down at David Crockett. He works for us. does a deal where you buy 10. And you have to go to both games, but it's like a $10 ticket for two basketball games. Hmm. Well, I mean, that's a deal. And, they ta- and we take you to, up to the game. We put you on the bus at Memorial Park. We drive you to Freedom Hall. We drop you off. Pick we you pick up. you up and take you back to Memorial yeah. Park. You don't have to worry about parking, parking or anything. We can't beat that. That's, so those are those are little programs like that. They take trips, the seniors do, to uh, different places throughout the year. If you're 50 and over, look at the programming that the senior services offer, and you can look at that online at uh, myjcparks.org. I appreciate Sarah letting us borrow her daddy today when she's out doing some Christmas shopping. We've done that. Now we're going to get Mr. David some lunch. We're going down to my office and my park and play a little while. There you go. So You're awesome. Thank you, sir. Back on the schedule next Thursday. Back next Thursday, yes, sir. All right, quick break. We'll be right back. Thank you, Carmichael. He's our buddy, of course, and we appreciate him very much. We'll let him pop off those headsets and take off. We're here live again at Champion Chevrolet. We're busy out here today. That's good. It's what we want to see. Got folks here in the lobby. Got folks walking the lot. Got all the salesmen are on the move here. And why would you not get GM employee discount on selected Traverses? And also you get selection on Silverados, Traverses, Expresses, Tahoes, and Suburbans. I mean, you get the same price that they get. They being the GM employee, General Motors employee, or Champion employee. So it's GM employee pricing. It's a very rare opportunity through the end of the month to do that. Also, 20% off select 2017 Cruises and Malibus and Corvettes and Sonics and Impalas or 0% for up to 72 months or 6 years in lieu of the 20%. It's a... Uh, Winner, winner, chicken dinner all the way around. You can't beat it. So those are three different ways to save, again, here at Champion Chevrolet and Bristol Motor Mile, Johnson City. And I appreciate Carmichael on his day with his uh, daughter shopping, Christmas shopping. He brought her by, and she was she was angel over there. Never made a peep. Did a great job, and not every kid will do that. And I appreciate how he's raising her. He and, and uh, Mrs. Carmichael doing a good job raising that little girl. She sat over there and never made a peep. That's good. We'll take a quick break. We're going to peep on to Cincinnati, Ohio. Check in with our buddy Riding Away with Dave. We'll talk Cavaliers. We'll talk the Biggie, obviously. The Buckeyes and the Wolverines tomorrow at the Big House in Ann Arbor. Dave Martin from WLW Radio in Cincinnati joins us next year on show number 640 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Monday we'll be at Freddy's in North Johnson City. 
Tuesday will be at Bracken Paving. Wednesday we will be at Movement Mortgage in Boone's Creek, right across from Cracker Barrel. Thursday, right back here at Champion Chevrolet on our regular Thursday stop. And next Friday will be at Food City on a Food City Friday on Food City on Virginia Avenue in Bristol. We'll be right back here at Champion Chevrolet on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at FCA.org. It's model your clothes out with Jim Employee pricing and 20% off on 17 models at Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City. It's a great time to take advantage of closeout savings on our selection of over 300 Chevys to choose from. 17 1500 work truck 23995, 17 track 17548, 17 cruise 16488, 17 spark 10950, 17 Malibu 18985. Closeout savings, Saturday parts and service hours, and shopping online 24 7 will leave you asking, how do they do that? At American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the eight areas of your vehicle that takes constant continuing education is the air conditioner on your vehicle. Well, you would think that AC would be a simple one, but it's getting to be uh, a lot bigger than just AC. It's it's the management of the system, not just AC, but heat and everything. It's a lot more computer controlled than it used to be. It used to be just a little button on the dash that you pushed. Now there's all kinds of electronics involved in that. Braking systems it used to be fairly simple. Now some of the newer vehicles you have to have a computer to actually operate the braking system to make sure that it's okay after you've worked on it. Computer control in the, of the engine is becoming very important. There's a lot to that. Each one of these areas, are, the, the technology has just tripled and quadrupled in the last few years. It's hard to keep up. You really need to stay in the books and know what's going on with them. American Import Auto Repair, Johnson City, open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. Your life is always changing. You never know what shape it will take or how your financial needs might change. But if we talk about your investments and how they can provide for you and your family, the future becomes clear. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we believe conversation leads to financial clarity. Let's start a conversation today. Back with the Tom Taylor Sports Show. You see on the screen, let's go live to WLW Radio in Cincinnati, the big one. Riding away with Dave. We'll be with him tonight. As a matter of fact, 12 o'clock, talk a little college football, a little NASCAR, kind of a wrap-up of NASCAR. Not a whole lot going on, but a few things. But certainly a big, big weekend for college football. And his team's playing tomorrow. That would be a kickoff time of 12 o'clock at the big house. His team is the Buckeyes of Ohio State, number eight in the country, against the unranked an eight and three Michigan Wolverines. Riding away with Dave. Good afternoon, sir. And you are you proclaiming right now on my show a Buckeye victory tomorrow afternoon? Oh yeah, the Buckeyes <laughs> are going to roll. It's not it's not just roll tide roll. It's roll Buckeye roll because okay. uh, they know that they've got the Badgers uh, waiting in the wings, and they got an opportunity to still make that uh, uh, crazy college uh, football playoff thing. I I think they could still slide in there at number four. But Urban Meyer, I think he's personally taking charge. 
uh, to Marcus. He don't like that uh, Jim Har- Harbaugh. You know, he slapped his jaw a lot and stuff and talked about how Michigan was going to be this and Michigan was going to be that. And uh, I told you all along, I just didn't see it, especially when I took a little road trip up to uh, Michigan about a month ago and uh, read some of the stories in the Detroit uh, Free Press. Uh, they, they were uh, asking, why in the hell are we paying Harbaugh? eight million dollars in taking some of these whippings that we've taken so uh you know uh, urban meyer after uh, getting beat up by your uh, iowa hawkeyes and stuff uh he said hey uh he says i'm taking back, back control of this team so uh he's had the boys fired up and hitting on all cylinders the last few ball games you've seen that and uh, jt barrett he had that one bad ball game but uh other than that, the uh, Buckeyes just have too much talent, too much class for uh, the Michigan Wolverines. And well, that would be good. Give them, give them a good spank and send all their fans home, and then they can get ready. For, they, they they can get ready for the toilet bowl or the out, out, outhouse bowl or whatever bowl Michigan will end up going to. We're talking. Yeah, ain't no love lost there. So it's funny because I talked to a guy yesterday on Thanksgiving, and he was totally opposite. And said. You know, they're not giving much of a chance because the quarterback's hurt up there in Michigan, but they're going to find a way in front of their fans to beat Ohio State. So he did exactly what you said. He did a complete 360 and said, the Wolverines are going to thrash the Buckeyes. So there is no love lost between those two. And so let me get you, let me get your take yeah. on some of these other big games. What do you think? Alabama, Auburn, the Iron Bowl. Who do you like in that one? Well, you know, uh, Auburn's played some pretty tough ball, but I mean, I would have to say that, uh, Nick Saban is just, uh, too tough the way he, uh, has, uh, Alabama fine tuned. But I, I don't, I haven't followed him because I don't get a chance to watch a lot of TV, but, uh, I'd go with, uh, Nick Saban right there, I think, in the, in the ball game like that. All right. Florida State, Florida. These two teams have had bad years, the Seminoles and the Gators, but it's in, it's in Gainesville. You like Florida at home or Florida State? I think Florida State, you know, that they, they had so much talent, there was so much uh, early season hype that uh, I think they've got to try and do something to redeem themselves. And, well, heck, maybe they can pair up against uh, Michigan. I mean, that'd be a good, a good uh, game for the Outback Bowl and, or the Out Toilet Bowl, Outhouse. Uh, outhouse, that's what it is, Outhouse Bowl. But you know, your buddy that talked up Michigan stuff like that. Now he might have lit up a big stogie. He might have been uh, spiked with a little something when he uh, called you up and gave you that Michigan report because he'd have to be on something either that or maybe he popped a few tops and uh, got all liquored up and that's the way the michigan fans are anyhow and stuff they live in a little bit of a delusional world now let me see urban meyer uh how many uh, games has he played against michigan how many victories he's got in the tip pocket i think it's what uh five or whatever so this would be another one and you can pretty much take that to the bank well i mean even the las vegas boys got him i think 12 14 point favorites so uh you know, of course, he, I think he got all excited after what happened there in Iowa, but that, that, that's a fluke there. I guarantee if uh, Ur- Urban Meyer and the Buckeyes get beat tomorrow, uh, there's going to be some shenanigans that uh, went on up there, uh, spiking their turkey dinner, pregame turkey dinner. I don't even think Urban feeds them until after they get a big victory. So uh, so, so much for that. But we have what other uh, ball games we got there? Notre Dame and Stanford? Yeah, I got you three more here. I got uh, let's do Notre Dame and Stanford. What do you think there? Well, like I say, you know, I haven't followed them, but, you know, Notre Dame looked, uh, got embarrassed in that big national game. So I would say Notre Dame, uh, should pick up a victory and that would get them a, a decent, uh, bowl bid. And they've had a, a pretty good season. Clemson, South Carolina. Well, I think, uh, Clemson, it's the same thing. They can't afford to, uh, stumble against the Gamecocks. It's just too big of a game, too much on the line for them. Uh, uh, a, a nice victory, you know, could uh, really help cement their uh, position in the top four. We're talking to our buddy Dave Martin, riding away with Dave. We're live here at Champion Chevrolet, Georgia, Georgia Tech, and Atlanta. You like the Bulldogs or yeah. Georgia Tech? Well, I, I think Georgia, you know, uh, the way things are shaking out, that, that they still got a, a, a decent shot at uh, being, the, you know, there in the four slot. So I, I'd say it's too big of a game for uh, Georgia and. You know, all the top teams this year, with the exception really of, of Bama and, well, I guess you'd say Miami too, now that they've got, they're in the top ranking, have uh, stumbled. So, uh, I would say Georgia would probably hold for them and, and pick up the victory there. Last one, Virginia Tech. It's big around here because the Hokies are about three hours up the road. Virginia Tech at Virginia. Uh, the Cavaliers much improved. Hokies, you know, they're having a okay season. Who do you like? 
Well, then let's go with your uh, Cavaliers and stuff, because that'll lead us right into the, to the next segment with uh, my Cavaliers <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> it's it, nice time. Isn't, isn't he smooth? He's smooth as silk. Our buddy <laughs> riding away with Dave from WLW Radio in Cincinnati. Uh, your Cavaliers tonight, 11-7 and seven on uh, the home floor against the Charlotte Hornets, who are 8-9. and nine. What's the story on the Cavs right now? Well, you know, I told you that uh, LeBron James had a talking with the boys, and uh, they've got, you know, really four uh, key players that's uh, on, on the uh, injured reserve uh, deal right now, and, and they're really uh, cruising, purring like a, a fine-tuned motor uh, in, uh, what have they won, what, seven in a row, eight in a row, and uh, it's all because they started playing some defense just like we talked about. I think LeBron, he monitors our show. He knows he can listen yeah. to uh, – <laughs> uh, two retro boys that knows what the hell they're talking about rather than some of these other ya- yahoos that uh, masquerade as sports guys. Uh, and I, I said all along that, uh, you know, don't count the Cavs out just because they had stumbled early in the year. The boys weren't in shape. Their shooting was off. But uh, now that they're playing a lot tougher defense and they whip themselves into uh, shape, uh, they're coming out there. They're knocking down their threes. LeBron's played a little bit of the point guard. And, uh, he's distributing the ball. Kevin Love, uh, he's a horse inside. You know, he's, uh, usually double digits and rebounds and, uh, shoots real well. And, uh, he's a threat wherever he's at because, you know, he can hit knock down the threes too. So, uh, Dwayne Wade's playing some real good ball and starting to fit in with the boys. And, uh, they talked to the one Boston boy that came over and, uh, he's playing some defense and, uh, getting it into the groove. So the Cavs are, uh, rounding back into shape. But uh, they're on a little bit of a roll. Of course, I made that prediction, and you can see that it uh, it came right true. But uh, they're going to be a force to reckon with. But I'll give it all the credit to Boston. I mean, Kyrie Irving's got those boys playing strong. And I think they had won like 15 in a row. I don't know if they've stumbled. I hadn't checked the latest uh, deal with them. But you got to give them a lot of kudos because uh, they're playing great, even though they lost that high-priced uh, free agent. What was it Justin Haywood? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're sixteen and three. The Celtics are. They got a game tonight against Orlando. Of course, Golden State's got the Bulls. Golden State thirteen and five. The Bulls are three and thirteen. So that should be a a butt whooping tonight in Golden State. So at Oracle Arena. So uh, now I want you to tease for tonight. We're going to, I'm going to be on your show tonight because tomorrow night, pretty cool. If you're a history buff, this is not really sports. But I want to give him a, a free plug because he's a good guy and he's a good friend. But tomorrow yeah. night. Riding the way with Dave is going to do a show all about the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, the late President Kennedy. Tease us about that. That's tomorrow night. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody that's, uh, you know, followed that in 54 years uh, was, was the anniversary this weekend in uh, one of the most tragic situations here in the, the country that uh, I think a lot of us can uh, still remember. Uh, I've done this show before on the radio, and uh, people have always said it's one of the best shows they've ever heard. Uh, one of my buddies, it's actually, if you can believe this, he's going to be up there at the Buckeye game in Michigan. So he's going to come straight from there and cruise on down and come in the studio with me. And I think he's bringing his uh, wonderful, he calls her Trish the Dish. And so you guys can read uh, into that message, whatever you want. But uh, she's a pretty young lady and she'll be uh, coming along with him. But uh, yeah, we talk all about the uh, JFK assassination leading into it. Uh, some of the events, uh, we'll even touch in uh, like what kind of part, uh, Marilyn Monroe and her uh, mysterious uh, uh, suicide not uh, plays into the whole deal with what goes on. We'll we'll hit on the Cuban uh, Missile uh, Crisis 13 days and talk about Robert Kennedy and how he might have uh, played a part in uh, JFK getting knocked off. And uh, If anybody thinks that uh, Lee Harvey Oswald was just some kook and uh, pulled that off, uh, then uh, I think they're probably smoking on something because uh, we talk about uh, what may really have happened, but we kind of leave the thing open. Uh, you know, we don't necessarily point any fingers, but we bring up a lot of scenarios that people probably aren't, weren't even aware of at the time. Tony was a, a former talk radio guy. He's a practicing attorney at law, and he's pretty sharp for an attorney. So uh, you know how those guys go. But, Always. Uh, it, it, yeah, it, it, it would be a hell of an entertaining show. Five hours we'll spend all night talking about. And I'll tell you what, the truckers and the bikers and the, our veterans, they are extremely excited. They've been bugging me for the past two weeks since I uh, did a tease on it. And actually, Tony called up last night. I had people all calling in and uh, uh, commenting on it. So the phone lines will be open to everybody. So anybody out there that's uh, interested in the show, you can hear pretty much 700 WLW. Uh, anywhere on the AM bank because it's 50,000 watts or if you have uh, 
um, iHeart Radio, you know, you can just go to 700 WLW and hook that up, and you can listen live and well, call in and participate. Let me ask you this: I always thought it was LBJ. I thought he was one behind it. Is, there, is that a, is that part of it or not? Yeah, you know, I, I I think that he definitely had some kind of hand him and some of his cronies. I mean, if you look back and and see, and I'll just give the audience a little brief rendition. I mean, uh, JFK was. Uh, out to change the course of history. He wanted to get us the hell out of that Vietnam War, which uh, I think looking back now, we, we kind of say, what the hell were we even over there for? What did we fight for? Uh, the way things have uh, turned out. And uh, at that time, you know, uh, Dwight Eisenhower had made the statement, you know, be aware of the uh, uh, big industrial complex, the military industry. And uh, there was just a lot of things. You know, JFK had a lot of enemies. And plus, you know, uh, he had a lot of shenanigans that went on there at the White House and stuff. I mean, uh, he had a pretty, pretty yeah. If you, <laughs> I mean, he he made uh, Billy Boy Clinton look like a piker and stuff. But uh, that could have been something because uh, he made he made some guys angry at him. You know, the CIA got embarrassed and they looked like a bunch of fools with the invasion down there at Cuba. And uh, actually, it's a pretty much documented fact that uh, Maryland, she had her phone tapped by three different identities. I think it was the FBI, the CIA, and the Mafia boys. And there's always been a lot of speculation that uh, the Mafia some, could have somehow uh, played a part in the assassination. But they were out to get uh, JFK and take him down. And uh, I just, you know, uh, pretty sure it wasn't uh, Lee Harvey Oswald. And if anybody remembers uh, the famous quote from uh, Oswald when they uh, questioned him there, he had the black eye and was kind of roughed up and everything, you know, and they asked him the question about, did you kill the president? He said, no, I didn't. He said, I'm a patsy. Mm. And I think that that was a, a statement that uh, has has resonated and uh, the way things all shook down. And, and we'll, get a t- we'll, we'll touch base on everything because Tony is... Uh, been to Dallas numerous times. He's actually been in the jail cell where they held uh, Lee Harvey Oswald, where they held Jack Ruby, and uh, been, of course been up in the uh, the book loft uh, and stuff. And it, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. And now I think everybody with any kind of common sense knows that you cannot believe and trust fake news, big media. Of course, how big of a part did they play in this whole scenario, and especially over the years? In just a few, uh, what was it, about a month ago, Donald Trump wanted to release all these uh, records and uh, files that uh, has been stored for uh, 25 years because of Congress. And uh, the CIA and, and uh, intelligence agencies, they fought, have fought them tooth and nail. And uh, there's still, I think there's still stuff that uh, Trump hadn't been able to release. So that t- I'll tell you a lot about the scenario right there. Yep. 30 seconds and we got to go. 30 seconds. Tell me, I watched the movie once maybe twice over the years kevin costner and jfk how yeah. authentic or how you know how reliable how believable is that movie and the jfk assassination or is it just hollywood well you know it's, it, yeah it's, it, it's hollywood and they take a few liberties here and there but i really think that uh oliver stone did a hell of a job on that movie i've watched it a few times myself and uh it was an eye opener when it came out, and like I say, we'll talk about everything tonight. So uh, if you guys uh, have, uh, or Saturday night, yeah. if you guys uh, have some spare time, that's midnight to five a.m. I would advise anybody to tune in. And if you miss the show, it'll be recorded on a podcast, and you can go back and listen to it, download it anytime. That's the thing that's nice about uh, iHeart Radio and being with the big boys, uh, seven hundred WLW. So uh, you might even want to tune in. You know, pop a top and sit back and. Uh, and see what you can uh, learn from us because we'll put on a hell of a show. You know me on uh, Friday night or Saturday night or whatever. I always ride fast and furious on the radio airwaves, so uh, that's what'll be going on Saturday night. You got it. Great report, my friend. I'll talk to you tonight, twelve o'clock a.m. seven hundred. Yep. Covers thirty-eight states. We'll talk sports, a little NASCAR, a little college football. We'll cover it all, whatever you want, and we'll talk to you then. All right. Okay. Thanks, Tommy. Yep. I, have a good rest of the Thanksgiving weekend, and I hope you did your. Uh, early uh black uh friday shopping it ain't over so you got time to get out to the stores it has the bargains for you i'm going after yours you were uh extra small right is that, is that correct yeah <laughs> everybody says i i wear the biggest hat this side of texas but you know actually i wear a bandana but you know whatever it is i wear you know i need a big one because you know i'm full of you know what <laughs> oh yes whatever i buy you okay. i'll see you the receipt if it's extra small you get your money back so i'll talk, <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to you thank, tonight Bubba. thank you
Yep. That's our buddy again, right away with Dave here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. That guy's a piece of work. So anyway, tomorrow night he's going to do a five-hour mm, expose, for lack of better terms, I guess, on the JFK assassination. You can listen to it beginning at 12 o'clock tomorrow night, live radio on AM 700 WLW. If you're here in the Tri-Cities, it's clear as a bell night. And, if uh, again, it covers most of 38 states, so it's uh, pretty strong. We're going to step aside and roll out of here. We do want to say thanks again to our guest today. That would have included, of course, uh, Carmichael. Also, just now, our buddy riding away with Dave. And also, a little bit earlier in the show, Mike Hedrick, the NASCAR fans reporter. Don't forget this weekend. Big weekend. Come over here. Of course, we're closed on Sunday. But on Saturday, tomorrow, and the rest of the day, and, of course, all of next week, through the end of November, GM employee pricing on selected 2017 Silverados, Traverses, Expresses, Tahoes, and Suburbans. All those, again, GM employee pricing. Again, as we've told you, it's a very rare opportunity that General Motors allows us to happen here at the Chevy dealership. And so you get the same discount this month through the end of November that a GM employee or a Champion Chevrolet employee gets. So, I mean, it's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. If you're looking for a new machine, this is the way to go. Also, they have yet another way for you to save 20% off select 2017 Cruises, 2017 Malibus, 2017 Corvettes, and yes, they sell Corvettes in cool weather and cold weather, and we're not at wintertime yet, but they sell Corvettes year-round. They have a great supply of Corvettes. Some dealerships have maybe one or two, and they have a boatload of Corvettes here ready to roll. 20% 20% off on select 2017 Corvettes along with Sonics and Impalas, one of those nameplates of Chevrolet for many years along with the Malibus. Now, those are 20% off. If you don't want to go that route, you have 0% for up to 72 months in lieu of the 20%, which is 0% for up to six years. I mean, that is that's strong. So it's all available again here at Champion Chevrolet. These great folks making it happen, and we certainly appreciate all of them allowing us to come over here and hang out with them and be, be their buddies here couple of times a month and or a couple of times a week let's read off the names here of the guys and the ladies before we get out of here uh pig arnold of course mike cole and uh, let's stop right here before I- boom let's get that back and let's see tim arnold mike cole pre-owned manager of course tim and Tim Coben, Avery, and Andy Dietrich are the owners. Charlie Birchfield, Bob Bays, Stephanie Broadwater, Kristen Martin, Cletus Green, Lynn Lloyd, uh, Randy Rydell, Tom Powers, Jay Hayes, David Palmer, Marshall Job, Glenn Taylor, Brian Wilder, Lloyd Fleener, and Chris McCall, the guys and the ladies that make it go here. And, again, everything you want to look at and see is on the web at championjc.com. And so they've got some great deals going on right now. Those are all on the news. And a great selection also when you go on that website, championjc.com, to check out all the pre-owned vehicles they have as well. I bought myself a pre-owned vehicle here. It's hard to believe it's 14 months ago because it seemed like I just bought it the other day. And that thing will run like a scalded dog. I love it. I got me a used motion from right here at Champion Chevrolet and tickled to death with it and tickled to death with the service I got. Uh, Tim, I know Tim sold a Jeep to a young lady named Lisa. I guess it was month September I guess it was late September early October saw it the other day she loves it she just crows about the service Tim Copenhaver gave her and also the Jeep that she bought so uh, that's the old TV commercial how do you do that it's called great customer service and so champion Chevrolet right here on the burst of motor mile Johnson City champion jc.com they are open tomorrow and the sales I mean the uh, service department's open tomorrow as well that's few of those offer that on Saturday. A lot of folks can't get by uh, during the week, and so uh, the sales department, I keep saying sales, the service department is open on Saturdays from 8 to 5, and of course, it's right here on the Motor Mile Johnson City, and the website is championjc.com. One more time, let's tell you before we get out of here, we've got basketball tonight. We've got a double dip. We are excited. Clark Powers and yours truly going to bring it to you. There it is on the screen. The Hardy's Classic, Game 1, the Volunteer Falcons and the Jefferson County Patriots. We're going there at 6.50 that first game. It's a doubleheader. Tip-offs at 7. Then Game 2 right in behind it will be Solomon South and Morristown East, the Hurricanes. So this is the semifinals of the Hardy's Classic. Tomorrow night we'll do the consolation game. That will be coming up at 7... 7 o'clock, I believe it is. Yep. 7 o'clock tomorrow night, the two losers play for the night's games, and then the two winners tonight play tomorrow night for the championship of the 28th annual 
Hardy's Classic being played at Crockett High School in Jonesboro. So for Tim Copenhaver and also Andy Dietrich, who's not here today, and Cletus has been so busy that Cletus, uh, he's flying around here, and I understand that comes first selling vehicles, and so uh, we'll pick back up with him next week. We'll be back with you next Thursday. So basketball tonight. Clark Powers and yours truly bringing it to you live from Crockett High School in Jonesboro. So until then, for all of our great sponsors and for Tim Copenhaver and Andy Dietrich, this is Tom Taylor telling you as always, we are out of time. We sincerely thank you for yours. And until we greet you tonight at 6.50 for Hardy's Classic Basketball in Jonesboro, until then we'll tell you win or lose, be a good sport. And come out here and check out these great savings all weekend long to the end of November at Champion Chevrolet of the Bristol Motor Mile, Johnson City. Till 6.50 tomorrow night, or 6.50 tonight, we say so long, everybody. <laughs>